Hello, welcome back to another edition of Junkyard Hack. This is going to be a short one, just more of an informational thing. Um, for those of you who are new to the uh, X-Frame Chevy restoration, that is Chevy, full-size Chevy's uh, Bel Air, Biscayne, Impala, El Camino, um, 58 through 64. Um, I was not familiar with this, but apparently on the rear trailing arm there, it's the rear lower, lower, they haven't even have an upper. No, they got a banana bar over there. Anyway, there's a rear trailing arm and on the rear trailing arms, both sides, there's a bolt that takes a three quarter nut. I guess it's three quarters, whatever, because I was changing the shocks out. But anyway, this bolt is actually an L-shaped bolt that goes all the way through here, through here, 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 makes an L-shape and comes out that way. That is the weirdest thing. I've never seen anything like that before. But as you can see, the bushing in that is absolutely toast and shot. So at some point, um, I'm going to have to address that. And yeah, that'll have to be taken out and all like that, but I don't have the bushing for it, but I just want to get the shock on now. Um, but yeah, that's uh, those two bushings are going to have to be, be shot. But anyway, I just want to point that out. So, um, you know, anybody who uh, regularly does these are, are like, duh, yeah, we know about that. But I'm not talking about it. I'm talking about guys like me who've never had to deal with these, uh, new to Chevys, new to this type of Chevy. On the rear, you got this bolt. Now, I was lucky. Um, when I went to take the old shocks off, and I'm telling you, these shocks were from the factory. I'm almost certain because they were toast. And yeah, this bolt was 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 I thought was going to be frozen on. I, I was worried about breaking the, the the bolt and you know having to get a weird a new weird L shaped bolt. And even though I did get a new one, it would be made in China. It would be garbage. Wouldn't be as good as the one you know from 1960. But anyway, um, I was lucky because uh, this car came from Texas. It was dry. And uh, I hit it with the uh, impact ha impact wrench, and it came right off, no problem. PV blaster, impact wrench, off it came. And, uh, yeah. But anyway, um, that's all this video is about, just a informational type thing. So if you're ever dealing with these, that's what you got. And uh, if you want to save your bolt and you're working on one of these and you're not going to get it off, use some heat. But uh, whatever you do, try to avoid... Absolutely try to avoid breaking that and snapping that off. Uh, if I was going to do it and I couldn't get that bolt off, I'd just take a death wheel and cut it, um, put a couple cuts in it, um, and just try to get it that way or what, whatever. Whatever to do to try not to break that off because you're not going to get anything as good. Most likely, you're not going to get anything as good today than you as you would this this hardware now so anyway that's all we're dealing with it's kind of a short video sorry about that but uh just like i said some informational we got the shocks done on both sides and it was pretty easy i mean pretty standard pretty easy to do so you know still working on the underside trying to get it squared away i want to get everything done so that uh when i put the gas tank in i i, I don't want to mess with it anymore so that's what i'm doing anyway we're going to uh, end the video here, and with that, watch those L-shaped bolts, and where's that bushing? Where's that rotten bushing at? Oh, there it is. Watch those L-shaped bolts, and uh, take care. Have a great day. Bye.